Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, this follows and what we have a raised to the power n minus n, which is the as a raised to the power n over a raised to the power n. At this here, this becomes 4 raised to the power x over 4 squared equals to 60 on this side. And Next step, this is the same thing as 4 raised to the power x over 4 squared 4 times 4, that's 16. Equals to here, we can write it as 60 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply 4 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 4 raised to the power x equals to 60 times 16 on this side. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. Here we have log. 4 raised to the power x equals to log 60 and 16 from here. And here we apply the power of log when we have log m raised to the power p. This is same thing as p log m. That is, here this becomes x log 4 equals to log. 60 and 16 here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4, which implies here log 4 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to log 60 and 16 over log 4. Then here, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm. That is, when we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 60 plus log 16 over log Four. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions. As this, we have x equals to log 16 over log 4 plus log 16 over log 4. As this here, 16 can be written as 4 times 4, that's 4 squared. And what we have becomes x equals to log 60 over log 4 plus log 4 squared over log 4. Then we apply the power of logarithm here to comes it. Then we have x equals to log 60 over log 4 plus 2 log 4 over log 4 which implies here log 4 comes each other we have to let here that is x equals to log 60 over log 4 plus 2 then also from here 60 can be expressed as 4 times 15 then what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 15 over log 4 plus 2. And this also follows the law of logarithm. And we have x equals to log 4 plus log 15 over log 4 plus 2. And this here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 15 over log 4 plus 2, which implies here log 4 comes to each other. We have one left, and we have x equals to 1 plus 2. That's 3 
10 plus log 15 over log 4. Then, next step here, we can also rewrite 15 as 3 times 5. Then what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 3 times 5 over log 4. Then this also follows the law of logarithm. We have x equals to 3 plus log 3 plus log 5 over log 4. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 3 plus log 3 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4. That is, yeah, also 4 can be written as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 3 over log 2 square plus log 5 over log 2 squared and we apply the power of logarithm here 2 comes here and also here and we have x equals to 3 plus log 3 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2. Then, yeah, we can express this as x equals to 3 plus 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2 plus also 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2. Then, here we apply change of base when we have log a over log b. This is the same thing as log a to base b. That is, all we have becomes x equals to 3 plus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2. And bring this together as one fraction. This 3 over 1, we have x equals to the SCM here, that's 2. And here becomes 6 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2. That is, the value of x here we have 6 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 6 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 6 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2 minus 2 is equals to 60 on this side. Then here we bring this power together as one. This 2 over 1. And we have 4 raised to power SCM up here. That's 2. Here we still have 6 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 4 here now. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then here, 6 minus 4, that's 2. And we have 4 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Is this equals to 60 on this side? Then here, we can write 4 as 2 squared which is raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Is this equal to 60 on this side? 
and this power multiplies two here cancelled each other we have two raised to the power two plus log three raised two plus log five raised two this is equals to 60 on this side then here this follows what we have a raised to the power m plus n which is the same thing as a raised to the power m and it's a raised to the power n at this here we have 2 raised to the power 2 times 2 raised to the power log 3 is 2 times 2 raised to the power log 5 is 2 this is equals to 60 on this side the 2 raised to the power 2 here that's 4 times here this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b this year we have 3 n times 5 year this is equals to 60 on this side then 4 times 3 12 and 12 times 5 that's 60 which is equals to 60 on this side we have left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 6 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comments. See you in next class. And bye for now.